This is an iPhone, but you probably already knew that. However, something that you may not know is that iPhones are terrible for scratch. They are really tiny, and everything is just really annoying. So that's why in this video, I'm going to push scratch to its limits and create a game on this tiny piece of tech. Will I give up from the frustration, or will I succeed? The phone that is being used in this video is actually my first phone and I literally got it yesterday. I just found it kind of funny that one of the first thoughts that I had after getting my phone was making a Scratch game on it. So yeah, to start this project, I logged into Scratch. And this was a struggle in itself. So I wondered, if doing something so small was so hard, how would I be able to create a full Scratch game? But I just brushed that thought aside and started working on the actual project. My idea for this game was that you need to avoid lightning bolts that come from the sky. The thing that makes this game more difficult is that you are playing with Flappy Bird physics and need to constantly flap so you don't fall off the screen. So with the idea in mind, I began to progress on the game. I started off by making gravity for the player. This took me a lot longer than I hoped it would, because of course, I'm using an iPhone. But at the end of the day, I've got to be happy with it because at least it works. The next thing I did was cut off Scratch Cat's body. I did this because my boy Scratch Cat was a bit too chunky at the moment. Sorry Scratchy, but the truth hurts sometimes. Another thing I added was a little outline to the cat. This is just a tiny detail, but I think it brings a lot to this game, and it makes it feel more polished. After that, I added in left and right movement because so far, we could only move on the Y axis. Now we have a happy, bouncy scratch cat. At this point, I thought that I had already done enough work for the day and played some basketball with my friends Bob, Bill, Ben, and Bartholomew. Run, lay up, on the stage, sit up, yeah! yeah. Okay. This little break from scratch was really enjoyable, but the next day, I was hit by the cold reality that I needed to make this video. Although I didn't express it, the first day of recording honestly sucked a lot for me, so I really didn't want to record again. But since I had already come this far, I decided to continue my game. So I continued, and I worked on some player rotation scripts. These rotation scripts added another level of polish to this game, and just made it look better. After that, I stopped recording. Again, I had low motivation for this project, and didn't want to work on it. I felt like I was just being dragged around by this game, and I didn't like that feeling. I thought of quitting this project, and that's exactly what I did. Or, at least, for a few days. Over that short period of time, I kept on thinking that I should continue this game, as I had already put in a lot of frustration, effort, and work into this project. And soon, I was working on this project again, but this time, I was determined to finish it. I started off by adding in lightning bolts that the player needed to avoid, and just like I did for Scratch Cat, I added an outline to the sprite to give it a more polished feel. But I still hadn't written any code for the lightning bolts yet, so I painstakingly placed block after block, until I finally had a working system. After adding in the lightning bolt, I made a score, because without one, the game would be pointless. So I coded it in, and it now works. It didn't take me that long to make, and is pretty self-explanatory. With now having finished the score, the finish line was in sight, and I just needed to make some minor tweaks and add in a main menu. So there it was. My game. I had finally finished it. I present to you, Falling Bolts. I think that this was overall an interesting experience. It wasn't fun, but I got some sort of satisfaction after I finished my project. If I had the chance to go back in time and rethink my decision of making this project, I still would have done it. I'm actually really proud of the simple game that I made over the course of a few days. Not because it is complicated or is extremely unique, but because of the challenge I overcame. Making a scratch game on an iPhone. So yeah, that's the video. If you enjoyed it, click on this video where I tried to destroy the most hated Scratch projects. See you there.